In the early months of 2026, the Baltic Sea has transformed into one of the most monitored and technologically dense maritime environments on the planet. For Sweden, a nation that has transitioned from centuries of neutrality to a cornerstone of NATO's northern flank, the delivery of the first operational squadron of Saab Gripen E-fighters to the F-7 Sotnus wing represents more than just a procurement milestone. It is a strategic statement of technological sovereignty. As the Swedish government implements a record-breaking defense budget increase of 26.6 billion Swedish kroner for the 2026 fiscal year, pushing total expenditure toward 2.8% of the gross domestic product, the focus has shifted from mere territorial defense to a sophisticated capability known as the radar killer. This role, specifically designed to dismantle anti-access area denial bubbles such as those anchored by the Russian S-400 Triumph systems, positions the Gripen E not as a traditional stealth aircraft, but as a pioneer of electronic stealth. The strategic calculus behind the Gripen E's development has always favored high availability and smart power over the raw, expensive, low observability airframes seen in fifth generation platforms like the F-35. For the Swedish public, which prides itself on the efficiency and pragmatism of Swedish steel, the Grapen E embodies a national philosophy, achieving superior results through intelligent design rather than sheer mass. In the 2026 operational environment, this intelligence is manifested in the Arexis Electronic Warfare Suite. Unlike previous generations of jamming equipment, Arexis utilizes gallium nitride GAN, technology throughout its active electronically scanned arrays. GAN allows for higher power output, better heat management, and a wider bandwidth than traditional silicon-based systems. This enables the Gripen E to blind enemy sensors by projecting precisely modulated interference that masks the aircraft's presence, effectively creating a digital shroud that is more adaptable than a fixed stealth coating. A critical evolution in 2026 is the full integration of artificial intelligence provided by the German-Danish-Swedish partnership with Helsing. This AI layer acts as a cognitive co-pilot, processing millions of signals per second across the electromagnetic spectrum. In a hypothetical confrontation with an S-400 battery, the Gripen E does not simply wait for a radar warning receiver to beep. Instead, the Helsing-powered Arexis system autonomously identifies, categorizes, and prioritizes threats based on a library of known and learned waveforms. If the S-400's 92N6E gravestone radar attempts to switch frequencies to overcome jamming, the AI detects the shift in real time and reconfigures the Gripen's output to maintain the suppressive effect. This capability is vital for the Swedish audience to understand. It is no longer about the pilot's reaction time, but about the machine's ability to outthink the enemy's silicon. The hardware accompanying this digital dominance is equally formidable. By early 2026, Saab has finalized the integration of the Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile, Extended Range, AARGM-ER, and the Spear UW Electronic Warfare Missile. The Spear UU is particularly revolutionary for the SEED, Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses, mission. It is a stand-in jammer that can be launched in swarms. While a flight of Gripen E fighters remains at a safe distance, these small, agile missiles loiter over the target area, mimicking the radar signatures of larger aircraft to lure the S-400 into activating its radars. Once the enemy lights up, the AARGMER, traveling at supersonic speeds with a range exceeding 120 kilometers,
homes in on the radiation source with lethal precision. This digital decoy and strike tactic ensures that Swedish pilots can neutralize high-value threats without ever entering the kill zone of the opponent's interceptors. Geopolitically, the importance of this capability cannot be overstated. The island of Gotland, often described as an unsinkable aircraft carrier in the center of the Baltic, serves as the primary forward operating base for these operations. In the 2026 defense posture, the ability of the Gripen E to operate from dispersed road bases, a hallmark of Swedish doctrine, makes it nearly impossible for an adversary to neutralize the fleet through a first strike on fixed airfields. For the Swedish taxpayer, this represents an extraordinary return on investment. While a fleet of F-35s requires pristine runways and massive logistical footprints, the Gripen E can be refueled and rearmed by a handful of conscripts on a hidden stretch of highway in less than 10 minutes. This total defense concept, where military hardware is designed to mesh with national resilience, remains a core point of pride for the Swedish public. The economic dimension of the 2026 Gripen program also aligns with the pragmatic Swedish mindset. While the United States dollar's cost of a fifth-generation fighter is often cited as the primary barrier to entry, the life cycle cost of the Gripen E remains significantly lower. Estimates for 2026 suggest that the cost per flight hour for the Gripen E is approximately 40% less than its direct Western competitors. This allowed the Swedish Air Force to maintain higher pilot proficiency through more frequent training hours and larger fleet availability. Furthermore, the weapon agnostic architecture of the Gripen E means it is not tied to a single supplier. By 2026, the aircraft can carry a mix of Swedish, European, and American munitions, ensuring that the Swedish defense industry remains a hub of international collaboration rather than a dependent client. Looking toward the end of the decade, the Gripen E's role as a radar killer is expected to evolve into a controller for unmanned systems. Initial trials in late 2025 demonstrated the Gripen E's ability to act as a mothership for loyal wingman drones. These drones, carrying their own Arexis light jamming pods, extend the electronic curtain even further into contested territory. For the audience in Stockholm and across the Nordic region, this represents a shift from being a buffer state to being a security provider. Sweden is no longer just defending its borders, it is providing the high-tech eyes and ears for the entire NATO Baltic defense architecture. The Gripen E, with its Raven ES-05 AESA radar mounted on a swash plate, giving it a field of view of 100 degrees from the center line, can look over its shoulder while retreating, maintaining a track on the very systems it has just disabled. Ultimately, the Gripen E in 2026 is a testament to the belief that size and stealth coatings are not the only ways to win a modern war. In the electromagnetic jungle of the Baltic, the most adaptable predator wins. By combining the legendary reliability of Swedish engineering with cutting-edge AI and gallium nitride electronics, Saab has produced an aircraft that treats the S-400 not as an insurmountable obstacle, but as a target to be managed and eliminated. As the Swedish flag flies at NATO headquarters, the Gripen E serves as a reminder that the nation's contribution to the alliance is not just geographical, but a profound technological edge that keeps the radar screens of adversaries dark and their sensors silent.